Recapping your headlines now, Turkish authorities have arrested eight people in connection with the New Year's Eve attack at a nightclub in Istanbul. A manhunt continues for the gunmen. Earlier, ISIL claimed responsibility, the first time the group has done so in Turkey. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan says the attack was an attempt to destabilize the country. A deadly explosion near Mogadishu Airport has claimed at least 10 lives, although the death toll hasn't been confirmed yet. Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility. The bomb was detonated at a checkpoint outside the headquarters of the African Union peacekeeping mission. It's another reminder of the security challenges facing Somalia's new government. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi has outlined his core missions for 2017. He says China's five-year plan will continue this year, with peace and development still the focus of the country's foreign policy. The minister says that under the leadership of President Xi Jinping, China should stay anchored amid any economic turbulence and be ready to seize opportunities. And Gambia's President Yaya Jameh has accused ECOWAS of declaring war. The regional bloc has threatened to send in troops unless Jameh steps down after losing last month's presidential elections. But Jameh says he's prepared to resist any aggression. He says the deployment of troops is a breach of Gambia's sovereignty. And that's a wrap of your headlines.